What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to talk about testing APIs, specifically SOAP APIs. Now, SOAP APIs aren't as common, at least in my experience, as REST APIs or GraphQL APIs, and I've really only seen them when I work with really big clients or I'm testing kind of compiled programs like a Windows application, like that might be the back-end communications. But you might come across a scenario where you're doing a bug bounty or you're working with a client where you have to do a SOAP API test. So this video really isn't about uh, the vulnerabilities within uh, SOAP APIs because that's kind of common to any API. This is about setting up your environment environment to actually test the API. So there's there's an API here that I've got from dataaccess.com. It's just a public SOAP API and it's what I'm going to use to show you how to set up the environment. It simply returns the word corresponding to the number passed as a parameter. So with SOAP APIs, they tend to have WSDL files associated with them and essentially it's just an XML file of everything that can be sent to the SOAP API endpoint. So if we go ahead and just take the URL here or you can simply save this file, your client might give you the WSDL file to use in your tests and then bring up a program that I like to use called SOAP UI. Now here you can test REST APIs, you can test SOAP APIs, um, but obviously in this example we want to be clicking SOAP. You can pop the URL of the WSDL file in here, or you can browse to that save file on your computer, and then just press OK, and all that's gonna do is bring up the two kind of functions within SOAP API that is taken from that WSDL file. So if we just go back to uh, that file, there's actually two different functions that can be used uh, as descripted in this file, and that is number to words and number to dollars. So that's what uh, is shown here, number to words and number to dollars. So if we just click on the plus and click on that request, which is Soapy's UI is made from that WSDL file, so already it's helping us there so we don't have to make it ourselves, you can see that the XML is, is there and all we have to do is change this parameter to whatever we want really. So if I put 11 in there because it's uh, numbers to dollars and then send that off, that returns $11 because I put 11 in there. So that's how this API works uh, as descripted in that WSDL file. So to test this kind of thing, you could just, you know, try SQL injections by putting in, you know, a quote mark there and seeing if any SQL errors come up or an XSS payload to see if the content type changes and you get an XSS or, you know, really this video isn't about vulnerabilities in APIs. As I say, they're common to most APIs. Um, it's about how to test in the best way. So for SOAP APIs, this is a good way and you probably want to proxy this through Burp uh, so you can add it to Repeater or do Intruder and things like that. So if you just click Preferences, and go to proxy settings and then you set the uh, manual proxy as whatever your burp suite settings are which is commonly this here and click OK and then just make sure this proxy is enabled here every time you click this uh, play button that will go through burp so if I go ahead and just intercept now click the play button you'll see that that request here so that the quote mark is exactly the same as that quote mark there. You can change this to whatever. So if I just send this to repeater, instead of that, uh, that quote mark, I'll change it back to 11, and you'll see that it comes back to $11 again. So as I say, you can go ahead, get your whatever SOAP API you're testing. It will show all of the parameters there for you. You just have to understand how the API works, and you might find that through uh, client documentation they might give you, they might show you how it works, they might give you some um, data to input into these parameters and then really it's up to you to go ahead and use your knowledge of vulnerabilities to uh, test a SOAP API endpoint. So really that's, uh, that's testing SOAP APIs in a nutshell, the best way to do that. So that's using SOAP UI with a WSDL file and just plugging it into Burp and repeating and using Intruder and things like that. I hope that makes sense and uh, thanks for watching guys. Give us a like and subscribe. Appreciate it.